Om Shanti. Ab bolo Om Shanti. Everyone should repeat. Can you repeat, please? Ab bolo Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you. Ah, very good. <laughs> आज हम जब मेडिटेशन में अभी बैठे थे वेन आई वॉज सिटिंग हियर इन मेडिटेशन टूडे फॉर थ्री मिनिट्स तो हमें एक बहुत अच्छा दृश्य सामने दिखाई दिए आई वॉज सींग ए ब्यूटिफुल सीन इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी What did I see? कि आप सभी के I saw मस्तक के बीच the in the middle of the forehead of all of you एक सितारा चमक रहा था There was a star sparkling in the middle of the forehead of all of you. So Dadi was sharing that when she came here and sat in meditation for three minutes, she saw a scene, and she saw a sparkling star shining in the center of the forehead of all of you. In the, the English, excuse me for you got that. Okay, thanks, Dadi. Thank you, Mary. It's okay. Okay. Is it okay? Just give sign to that. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you. So, I was listening to her. So, that was sharing her experience. That she saw a scene when she was sitting here for three minutes in meditation. In the middle of the forehead of all of you, there was a star sparkling. That star. Which was that star? That was the star of the spiritual luck of all of you. It was the star of fortune. बहुत बहुत ऑल ऑफ यू आर वेरी वेरी लकी और विशेष परम पिता परमात्मा एंड प्यारे ते प्यारा है एंड स्पेशली गॉड द सुप्रीम फादर द स्वीटेस्ट फादर यू आर द लवली चिल्ड्रन ऑफ ऑल ऑफ हिम The star of fortune, the spiritual luck of all of you has brought you into this place. That's why, अपने प्यारे पिता परमात्मा के द्वारा आप सबका लक देख करके बहुत बड़ी खुश हैं। I am very very happy observing the luck of all of you that you have received from God. Your fortune has brought you up up until here. Your fortune has brought you this place. In India, they say. When you ask anyone to do something, they say, "Okay, if it's God willing, we will reach." But I saw that God, you you are all blessed by God. You are blessed by God. That is why you are able to arrive here. So now, what you have to do after being here, God has done His work. He has brought you here. His blessings has brought you here. Now, you what you have to do? I am seeing all of you, my brothers and sisters, that all of you are lovers of peace. Because you are lovers of peace, you have arrived here. Now, this peace. Now you must keep this peace, peace with you constantly. Not peace for temporary time. 
कुछ वी कैन एक्सपीरियंस पीस फॉर अ शॉर्ट टाइम हर आत्मा को चाहिए बट ईच एंड एवरी सोल वांट टू एक्सपीरियंस इटर्नल पीस अवनाशी शांति दे वांट टू हैव इम्पेरिशिबल पीस एनीथिंग दैट व्हिच इज इम्पेरिशिबल द्वारा ही मिल सकती है एनीथिंग दैट व्हिच इज इम्पेरिशिबल विल बी अटेन बाय द वन हु इज इम्पेरिशिबल if i want something in my life suppose if i want some clothes i have to go to a place where they sell the clothes if you go to a jewelry shop you can't buy clothes from there so you can only buy those things what is available from there तो हमें अवनाशी शांति चाहिए इफ वी वॉन्ट टू एक्सपीरियंस इटर्नल पीस इन अवर लाइफ वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हु इज दैट वन हु इज इटर्नल हु कैन गिव अस यही गया हुआ है इट इज फॉर गॉड वी से परमात्मा गॉड सुप्रीम सोल इज बियॉन्ड बर्थ इमेज ऑफ इमोटैलिटी अवनाशी इटर्नल तो अवनाशी शांति हमको मिलेगी ही वी विल बी एबल टू एक्सपीरियंस इटर्नल पीस फ्रॉम गॉड द वन हु इज इटर्नल और हमारा हक है शांति एंड पीस इज अवर बर्थ राइट इट्स अवर बर्थ राइट पीस इज अवर बर्थ राइट की महिमा करते हैं वी प्रेज गॉड सेइंग आत्मा को सदैव always we say god is the ocean of ocean of happiness bestower of happiness we praise him as the ocean of happiness ocean of peace and he is the eternal source of peace god is the ocean of all qualities and we are his children when i say god the father so we become his children so whatever property the father has automatically the child becomes the inheritor have right over the property all those of you who have come here you have been come to visit mount apu you have come here to your father's home you have come to god's home you have come to you have come to receive your birth right from god atma ka haq hai the soul has the right to receive whatever god has so it is our birth right we must possess those qualities god has in our life but we don't have those qualities we praise god our father as ocean of peace and we are his children but we are peaceless why in the world today i have seen Uh, going around the world i have seen one experience has become very firm in my life whether it is in india or abroad if you ask anyone whether it is a child an aged person if you ask the same question to anyone do you have tension majority of the people say yes yes we have tension in our life to parmatma hamara pita shanti ka sagar god our father is the ocean of peace the bestower of peace aur hum uske bacche and we are his children creation why are we experiencing tension in our life what's the reason कारण यही है the reason is कि हम परमात्मा को अपना पिता तो कहते हैं we call him as our father but करें. we must check ourselves परमात्मा से हमारा पिता और पुत्र का we must check ourselves to see whether i have established the relationship of child and father agar koi राजकुमारी हो समन इज ए प्रिंसेस इफ समन इज ए प्रिंसेस एंड इफ द प्रिंसेस कम टू यू एंड बेगिंग फॉर फूड 
and say I'm hungry, I need two, two pieces of bread or roti, what would you say? Could you accept that one as a princess belonging to the king? So definitely you will have the thought that there must be some reason that she is starving even after being the princess. So we need to ask ourselves, we are children of the bestower of peace. Why is that we are suffering from peacelessness and tension? The reason is, until we find out the reason, we are not able to find the solution. Once we understand the reason, we are able to find the solution. What is the main reason for us experiencing tension and peacelessness? The main reason is the connection, the relationship we had with God the Supreme is forgotten. Why did we forget when we sit to remember God? Majority brothers and sisters uh, complain, say, that mind cannot concentrate. We try our best to concentrate our mind on God in meditation, but instead of remembering God, our mind moves everywhere, it wanders. So the mind wanders everywhere, we cannot concentrate. We don't know what, what happens at the time of meditation, the mind wanders wastefully because of tension. What is the reason for this? We have made one mistake, small mistake, but it's a small mistake, but it is also the biggest mistake. What is that mistake? Who am I? What am I? We have forgotten ourselves. We have forgotten the self. I would like to ask you, so in, during the whole day, you use two words many times, I, I and mine. You, you, I and mine, there is a difference between I and mine. So I always, I, I am the master, so I say whatever belongs to me as mine. For body, what do we say? Whenever you have headache, what do you say? Whenever you have any problem, what do you say? Do you say, um, my, I head is aching? Or do you say, my head is aching? Do you say, you don't say, I, I the body is not well, but you say, my body is not well. So body belongs to me, but who am I? What am I? This is a puzzle that we need to solve. We have forgotten the answer for this puzzle. What am I? So it's already 68 years now since I have been in this knowledge and I have been in contact with uh, brothers and sisters from abroad in India. And whenever I ask anyone, who are you? What answer do they give? They give the introduction of their uh, name of the body, occupation of the body, relationship of the body, about property. I'm still asking them, who are you? Actually, they're introducing about themselves, not they're talking about what belongs to them. They're not introducing themselves. So we have made this small mistake. So the wire is connected with this microphone, so you're able to listen. But if there is some problem with electricity and the microphone doesn't work, so then what happens if there is a loose connection or something? So you cannot listen to me. If I make this mistake, before connecting the wire, if I don't remove the rubber, if without removing the rubber, if I try to connect the wire, 
I may try my best whole day and night. I cannot, I cannot connect and I cannot receive the current. It is not possible for the wire to connect without removing the rubber. So I will be just wasting my time and energy in the same way. When I sit to meditate, but who is the child of God? Is, a, is the body the child of God? Because the father of the body is different. Because, but the, the creator of the body is different. Each one will give different name when they are asked to give the name of their physical father. You all of us do say, no matter which faith we belong to, whether we are Hindus, Muslim, Buddhist, Christians, whoever it is, all of us agree with this fact that God is one. We don't say God is two, three. All of us agree with this one fact, God is one. When God is one, we, we say in different names, someone may call God as Allah, Prabhu, Ishwar, God, but it is to the one God and we are all the creation of that one creator. We are the children of that one. So who is the child? Who is the creation? Is this body? It's not the body, but it is the soul within this body. It, that is the soul is the child of God. Just as God is eternal, in the same way, soul is also eternal. The body is perishable. Body, body is burnt, but soul cannot be burnt. I, the soul, I, the eternal soul, I am the child of the eternal father. So uh, we must ask ourselves, am I sitting in the consciousness of the soul? If someone is not my father, but if I try to call him as my father, they would not be able to understand because they don't have any connection with me. So we, our connection, no matter how much we pray to God, uh, but because we are not sitting in the right consciousness, we are not able to make the connection. So this small mistake of forgetting ourselves as soul, uh, we are able to lose the peace in our body and brought us into peacelessness. So we had forgotten ourselves. Uh, the one who forgets one's own self, uh, they will definitely get distressed. They cannot experience happiness. So here we get the solution for the cause of peacelessness. Peace is my birthright. Why I lost that birthright? The reason is, the reason is that we have forgotten ourselves, uh, that we are souls. We have heard the word soul, supreme soul, but that connection and relation is missed out. If there was that connection and relationship, then there will be peace, happiness, love in our soul. We would have had all these in our life. So all of you have come here. I'm very happy to see all of you. I'm very, very pleased to see the fortune of all of you. We have no so many people were invited, but only all of you are here. You accepted the invitation. You are lovers of peace. You love peace. That is why you accepted the invitation and you have arrived here. So that's why by seeing all of you, brothers and sisters, I'm very, very pleased. You are spiritual brothers and sisters. We were, we were separated. We were separated and then we, we arrived in different countries. So you all have come from distant countries. 
We are all spiritual brothers and sisters, and you are all my brothers and spiritual brothers and sisters. We we got separated, and so just imagine if someone who separated brothers and sisters uh, separated once, if they come and meet once again, how much happiness? Even if a brother who was lost and they meet again, they they publish in the newspapers. But uh, here, uh, in which golden words can I ex express that I am so happy to meet the brothers and separated who are separated from me. Uh, so are you all happy also to meet? If you are happy to uh, that you are come back again, you are lost, but you have come back. Uh, what will you do now? What will you do now? Today you got the introduction of the soul by Shilu Ben. If I ask you today, who are you? What would you say? What will you say? Will you give your physical body introduction or will you say I am a soul? What would you say? So you must remember this lesson that I am a soul. Otherwise, once again, you will begin to experience tension and you will have a mountains of sorrow falling on you. <laughs> Make this lesson firm. I am eternal soul and I am the, the, the point of light. God is the father of the soul. But seeing the physical form, because some people mistake and that uh, Brahma Kumaris may ac accept this physical form as God, but here we do not ac accept any physical form as God. Uh, of course, we, we know that there are great souls, deity souls. They are, but God is uh, incorporeal and beyond birth and death. We are children of God and I am soul. Just make this lesson firm. I am soul and I am soul, the child of God. Even if you forget all the other lectures, doesn't matter. Just remember this. Don't forget this at all. Make this, you, know, you make this firm in your mind that I am a soul and I am child of God. You make this note in your mind. Make this firm in your mind that I am soul and I am the child of the Supreme Father, Supreme Soul. You can you can experiment with this as many days as you are here. These days you are going to spend here are very lucky days for you because you don't have any responsibility here. I know sometimes those who live in the center they do double work. They they have job and they also do the spiritual teaching. They remain very busy. So, but here you are all free. Here you don't have any responsibility. You don't have to cook food also. <laughs> you get pure vegetarian food here. Of course, you get pure vegetarian food. It's good to have vegetarian food because as is the food, so will be the mind. Of course, uh, you know, the food affects the mind. There is a great connection between food and the mind. So you get very good food and you don't have any responsibility. You don't have to send your children to school. You don't have to go to office. Now it is time. You don't need to look at the clock also. You just get the announcement and you can follow the announcement. You don't have to look at the clock. <laughs> so you're very free. Only one duty you have, no other job. So don't think about anything else. If you have any thoughts about the place you have come from, so you can make a phone call and tell them that you are, you are okay, they, everything is okay. Then don't think about any other things. But make this one lesson firm in your mind. I am a soul, I am a soul, I am a soul, and I am the child of the Supreme Soul. Make this lesson, then you will see whether you will experience peace of mind or not. 
because this religion of the soul is peace. So why do we love peace? Because it's our religion. When you have tasted something, only then you will remember. If you have tasted mango, because you know they love everybody loves mango. If you have tasted the, the sweetness of the mango, so when the child, uh, so the child will remind the father to buy the mango because the child has tasted the mango. In the same way, you must you you have experimented. You must you must have tasted now by now uh, the little bit piece of mind. But now in the next few days, you will you will experience it fully. So whatever you have tasted, remind yourself. But don't. Uh, we usually say we want to remember, but we forget. So, Daddy, we want to share another method. You you take food for the body five times. Morning tea, tea or water you take in the morning. Then you have breakfast. Then you have lunch. Afternoon tea. Then dinner five times. Yeah, five times tea and food. You won't forget that. Because you have to make this firm, this is uh, so you will take these food and drinks at that time, this five times. So you must check your lesson, how firm, firm you have made this. When you have a glass of uh, water, a cup of tea before drinking, ask yourself this question what am I? Who is drinking this glass of water, cup of tea? So I, the soul, I'm drinking this with my hand. The soul is drinking, uh, but I, the soul, I'm doing it. Because if it's the soul which is helping you to do it. So five times, you can fix the times to practice. Check yourself whether you are conscious about yourself as a soul. And is my connection and relationship with God firm? If you remember you are a soul, then your connection with God will be automatic because the soul has no other relationship other than one God. Because the soul doesn't need anything because it has only connection and relationship with the Creator. Because it doesn't have any positions, any relationship. Usually our intellect is drawn towards relationship and positions. Because the intellect goes towards money, even that money is also earned for spending. But when I'm in the consciousness of the soul, nothing comes to my mind. Because of course, when the soul is in the body, we have to do everything, that is okay. But when you are here, you are free. So Daddy feels that you must uh, check this. God has sent all of you spiritual brothers and sisters here. Definitely make the practice of meditation very firm. This practice is going to help you very much in the near future. Even if you forget everything else, just remember this, I am a soul. I am a child of God. Third thing, when you meet with each other, just use this word Om Shanti. Say to yourself Om Shanti when you wake up in the morning. Say good morning to God. Don't say anything, anyone else. As soon as you're awake in the morning, say good morning to God. Sweet, sweet Father, good morning. Then the whole day will be good. As you begin your day, when you begin your day by seeing uh, something good or thinking good, then the day will be good. So when the day is not good, then they say that I don't know what thought I got up with, or whom I saw, I don't know, the day has spoiled. So that is why the best person to think and see in the morning is God. So begin your day with saying good morning to God. And before going to sleep, whatever you have done, good or bad, so you will check five times. Don't forget to check the five times. 
then you will know or how you are progressing whether you spend the day good or nicely then at night so give all the accounts to God make your mind free then with that free mind say good night to God and go to sleep next morning when you wake up it will be very good say good morning in the morning good night at night and whatever has happened whether it is good or bad whatever news just tell God then he is going to forgive you for whatever it is so just share everything of the day before going to bed make your mind free and then go to bed make you become double light soul is light soul is point of light and become light in weight and say good night and go to sleep then and remember the word om shanti with meaning om i am and peace is shanti i am peace so remember this word with the meaning then you will remember the peace and the peacelessness will finish tensions will finish whenever you have tension you add one letter a then it becomes attention so instead of tension have attention so then your attention will be drawn towards one god so when they think of god they point the finger upwards attention when the attention is towards god then all the tensions will finish so remember use the word om shanti for yourself and then use the word om shanti for others also then you will always remain happy you will enjoy life many say that they are not happy if there is no happiness then what did we do with our human life even nowadays animals are also happy the pets they are also happy and we are human beings we are leading a human life our life is like diamonds why we are not happy if you don't have happiness in life uh, if you don't have happiness that day you must think that you have gone into coma so if you don't have happiness then what life is that it's only happiness that makes our life alive be happy stay in the meaning of the word om shanti and i am the soul child of supreme soul remain in this awareness check yourself five times say good morning and good night om shanti <laughs>